So when you're solving constant acceleration formula problems or SUVAP problems, it is worthwhile uh, that you get into the habit of writing SUVAT down as a column and then identifying from the worded information uh, what you have been given, okay? So that you can figure out what you need and what formula then to use, okay? So I've taken all the context out and I'm just going to tell you that uh, in a particle's motion, um, it uh, has a displacement of 16 meters. Uh, its initial velocity was 6 meters per second, and it is accelerating at 2 meters per second, okay? And I want to try and find V and T in these cases, okay? So, I have S, U, and A, and let's say I want to find V first. Then what I want is an equation that doesn't have T in it. Okay, I want to home in on the one that doesn't have t, and that's the fifth one. So what I can say is that v squared is u squared plus 2as. So v squared is u squared, so 6 squared, plus 2 lots of a times s. Okay, so v squared is... Okay, so we've got... 6 squared plus 2 times 2 times 16, and that gets me 100, okay? And so V is 10. Now, you might be thinking, well, okay, could I also have minus 10 as the final velocity, okay? Um, so what would that mean? That would mean that if I had V as minus 10, I'd gone from 6 metres per second to minus 10 meters per second, but I would have been accelerating at 2 meters per second, that doesn't make any sense. The acceleration would have had to have been negative as well. So V has to just be the 10 meters per second. Okay? Now, at this point, I would have enough information to find T quite easily, okay? Um, but instead, what I'm going to suggest is that we go through it as if I haven't found V, okay? So going back to the original information that we've got the S, the U, the A, okay? And I want T. I'm now looking for the equation that doesn't have V. So that would be the third one. So the third one says S equals U T plus one half A T squared. So if I substitute in, I've got 16 is equal to 6t plus 1 half times 2t squared. So let's move everything onto one side of the equation. I've got 1 half times 2t squared, so just t squared, plus the 6t, take away the 16. Now this quadratic in t actually factorises, or you, you know, if you weren't too sure, then go straight to your calculator's uh, quadratic solver. And then I've got t plus 8 times t minus 2. So either t is minus 8 or t is 2. Now t is minus 8, okay, you can't have negative time. So that is unphysical. So t equals 2 is what I'd be looking for. Okay, that is the answer to the problem. So that means that the particle travels 16 metres in two seconds, going from 6 metres per second up to 10 metres per second and accelerating at 2 metres per second per second.